Alright, in Skyblock the ultimate goal is to do as much damage as possible. And to do that you'll need to optimize everything. But before that I want to mention that I will host a 50 million giveaway at the end of this video. The only requirements are subscribing and joining my discord, so stay tuned. And if you enjoy or find this video helpful in any form or way, you can always click on the like button later on. And last, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Enjoy! So I made a infographic of every way you can improve your damage. Most of these options are very expensive for a little amount more damage and therefore not really worth it. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train, years in this lane. For every accessory your accessory bag holds, you gain a small amount of stats. Most of these accessories also give perks by themselves. I have linked the wiki in the description so you can decide which ones are worth it for yourself. Also, in case you want to go even more extreme, you can even recombobulate them. And if you want to upgrade your accessories even more, you can always go to the community center, buy yourself some enrichments of choice, and apply them to your legendary accessories. Now the important part is, you want to go to Maxwell and give him 9 luxurious spools. They are for sale at the bazaar. Now you can teach yourself a new power. Make sure to select it and put all your magical power into attack speed. So you basically want to use a godpot that is for sale at the auction or the community center. You can use mixins at the bartender for an additional 10 ferocity, but it's not really worth it. You can also buy dungeon only potions at Ophidia. And don't forget to eat your daily cakes at slash visit portal. When it comes to doing more damage by using your skills, three skills come to mind. Combat for a higher percentage of damage, forging for extra strength, and also catacombs for a higher percentage of damage while in dungeons. Slayers, every slayer will give you a small stat bonus that most of the time is strength or crit damage. So that's really a reason to grind your slayers out. Alright, let's start with the setup. Of course, in and outside of dungeons, you need different gear. And not to mention ability damage. Sadly, that will be a video on its own. Alright, the best setup for outside of dungeons will be 3 fourths of infernal crimson armor and a warden helmet. But that can become very expensive and it will take months to collect all the heavy pearls to max out the crimson armor. So a great alternative is 3 fourths of Necron with the Warden Helmet. But if you can't afford the Warden Helmet yet, you can always swap it out for a Tarantula one. As a weapon, you want to get yourself a Dark Claymore. But since that's quite expensive, you can always choose the more affordable options. As a pet, you want a Golden Dragon Pet with at least 2 billion coins in your bank account. And as cheaper alternatives, you can get a default Ender Dragon pet, and if that's still too expensive, the Griffin pet. You want to get yourself the Agent Reforge for your armor. Besides that, you want to apply a Recombobulator. And for optimal damage, you can enchant your armor with Legion 5 and apply perfect Jasper gemstones. And when used for dungeons, you can dungeonize it and add stars or maybe even master stars. You want to enchant your weapon with any enchantments you can get your hands on. With the most important ones being for damage, smite or sharpness, critical, ender slayer, cubism, execute and finally thunderlord. You can choose out of the withered and fabled as reforge for your weapon. And don't forget to add hot potato books and maybe even the art of war. Anyway, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like for the algorithm, see ya!